Alright, here we are. We back again with the Patreon request series, and we got an artist that I've never done before, never heard one song. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family, clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, once again, here we are rolling through all of the Patreon requests that I get off of the highest tier, and this one is no different. This Patreon request comes from, I forgot who it came from already, Jeff S. And we got Toby Nwigwe. And yes, I had to look up that pronunciation because I wasn't about to try to butcher that for five minutes. Like I said, I never heard of this dude. I've seen, I seen him pop up on like my on my IG on my IG ads, and I've seen like Spice Adams and a couple of different people praise him, but I never actually went in to see what he's all about. But now, because of Jeff, we have that opportunity to find out, see what Tobe is all about. Jeff, once again, I appreciate your Patreon membership, my guy. It means everything to me. It keeps the channel running. You are a direct support to the channel. If anybody watching this wants to watch, wants to support the Patreon. It is the only way that the channel is currently and will continue to be alive because I am getting paid directly full time through Patreon to make videos for y'all guys because y'all thought that they were important enough and they provided you enough entertainment to see that out. So I appreciate everybody that's over there. And Jeff, hopefully this is a solid ass request, my man. But I got nothing else to say. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earn. It's just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. And we got what's it for? I lied. What it's for? Toby Nwigwe. Let's get it. Yo, imagery right here in this music video, I'm glad that the director said a film by because this is already feeling mad cinematic. It's got the widescreen look, it's got the wide angles, it's got the tight end, like everything about it. The editing and the color grade, they, it makes it just look cinematic as shit. Love it. Look. I was raised in the hood until my mama went to nursing school and showed me what a little vision and work could do. My best friend auntie was a prostitute. Them cars would pull up. Them visits was conjugal. She had been with all kind of dudes. Bruh, the, the, the visuals of the hood in this video already. First off, I like like the, the contrast between the grand piano right there and the guy in like formal in a formal tuxedo playing like classical piano. And then he's right there at the bus stop. Like that's a vibe right there. It's like the perfect way to bring to life and make the visuals for the phrase, there's beauty in the struggle. I was raised in the hood till my mama got it like her nursing, nursing degree and went to school and showed me what hard work, a little bit of determination and fire, what that could do, that's fire, dog. And then go from that to saying that his best friend was a prostitute, like that's 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 wild. Had my mind all kind of confused. Was just a good diver, cut the minor, trying to make it through. An atmosphere with the behemoths was so egregious and got appeasement from using thesis I didn't agree with. Like, we don't leave. Bro, bro, the, the vocabulary, fire. Appeasement, thesis, behemoths, egregious. Bro, that, that's dope. I love I love people who have good vocabulary in hip hop because it's like rap and hood rap already has that like that negative stigma but like coming and showing that you have smarts on the mic especially if you come from the hood that's fire. Regis and got appeasement from using thesis I didn't agree with like we don't leave told me we stuck here boy like we all adhesive if it's beef. You keep your eye low like you anemic If the energy ain't cohesive You pull and squeeze it, no peace Carry pieces, stay on your toes like orthopedics Watch who you- Hold up, hold up, there's- we went from like that that very first part, which was fire. Now we're getting into some flow, dog. He said that hood mentality and that like toxic masculinity that I don't agree with. Like we don't leave. Like you stuck here, boy, with that hood, like like that hood ghetto South accent. And he said you stuck here, boy, like we adhesive, like literally adhesive stuck together, like stuck together like glue. Glue is adhesive. Like imagine coming from a place where society is already not on your side, like you're already pr like predestined to fail. And then not only are you coming from that place, but the people that are in that place are like fucking with your mental state and fucking with the way that you think about it and saying that you're not supposed to leave here. Like you stuck here, this is where this is where we're supposed to be. That's a twisted thought. And he said, if it's beef, you keep your iron low like you anemic, bro. <sighs> like if it's beef, like if there's problems, if they're static with somebody else, you keep your iron, like your pistol, like they call it iron, they call it steel, they call it heat. You keep your iron low like you anemic and someone who is anemic has low iron in their blood. And if the energy ain't cohesive, you pull and squeeze on that iron and there ain't no peace 
We carry pieces. Again, another slang term for like a pistol. We carry a glot. We carry a piece because there ain't no piece, like literally. This is all, even if it stays at this pace, this is already a good ass fucking song. Energy ain't cohesive. You put and squeeze it. No piece. Carry pieces. Stay on your toes like orthopedics. Watch who you be uh -huh. with. Stay on your toes like orthopedics. I forgot about that one. That's fire. I like literally orthopedics go on your feet, but stay on your toes. Like keep your head on a swivel. Cause you got you got ops everywhere. That's tight. They on your toes like orthopedics. Watch who you be with. No gas. Roll from the ass like as a phoenix. Have my partners been thugging since they was just a fetus. Swear they know. Have my partners been thugging since they was just a fetus, dog. Like they were destined to be in this life. They were destined to be in these gangs, in these street organizations, in this illegal activities lifestyle because it was generational. Like they were destined for this before they were even born. And then he said, he said, no gas. Like gas to start a fire, but I rise from the ash like a phoenix. That's what they known for shooting and stabbing. If you ain't known in my hood, bet you duck like you dabbing. My hood treat me like the... That's duck like you dabbing, like duck. If you ain't on, like like don't 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 be locking eyes with people because you ain't about that life. Just duck and look the other way, but duck like you dabbing. You ain't on in my hood, best you duck like you dabbing. My hood treat me like the boy from Akron. That's why every single beat I need a fork and napkin. Cause I swear it's time to eat. This for my partner's deceased who ain't never make it out the leaf. This Bro, I could stop this video so many times, dog. He said, I swear the hood treat me like I'm that boy from Akron. Like I'm the I'm the chosen one to make it out this hood. If anybody's gonna make it out, everybody is banding together to see that I do because I'm the one beacon of light in this shitty ass life that we live. It's like the intro to Alexander Hamilton when he says the word got around. They hear this kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. Get your education. Don't forget from whence you came and the world's gonna know your name. What's your name, man? The hood's coming together because I'm the chosen one like the kid from Akron. And because they're all coming together, I'm gonna make sure that I don't waste this moment. I'm gonna make sure that I bring a fork and napkin because I'm about to eat on these beats. Because it's not just me. I got all my partners that never made it out. I that never made it out that street life. I'm riding for them. This for my partner's deceased who ain't never make it out the leaf. This for my mama who put me in Little League and couldn't afford cleats. For little Mitch running me over, sweat it turned me to a beast. This for my sister, for my niece. This for fat, this for Reeks. This for radio not showing love even though they obsolete this for e this for c and all them g's letting text blow i'm trying to have some substance for all of my dogs like petco no jose like bank but my i'm trying to have some for all of my dogs like petco like literally his homeboys and this is for all the people that are in the streets letting them text go like letting them fucking machine guns because they gang banging I'm gonna make sure that I'm putting on for y'all and this is for my mama who put me up in little league but we couldn't afford no cleats dog like you take that shit for granted. That shit is real life for some of these people out here. And you hear like that instrumentation and like the strings getting louder and then the and the piano getting a little more aggressive. He stands up like everything visually that shows like we're approaching something. You can hear it. You can hear it in the sound. And he said this is for the radio not showing love even though they obsolete. Like boy, you can go and get it on your own. You don't need no radio no more. Back in the day you did. And yes, it still hurts when the radio don't show love, but that puts that chip on your shoulder to keep that shit going. Because when you make it to the top with no radio play, no radio spins, you can say you did it without them motherfuckers. You can say you did it without the shitty ass record label deal. You can say you did it without the A&R. You just did it straight off of your sheer talent. I have some substance for all of my dogs like Petco. No Jose like Bank, but might keep a blaze on me like dress code. Matter of fact, this for all the years I was stuck riding Metro. Couldn't Dog, I'm, I'm pausing this way too fucking much. You can't catch the vibe, but he said, I like, I'm, I still keep a blaze, like, like dress code. Still keep a blaze, a heater. Uh, he packs that nine, like a dress code, like a blazer. This was probably the bus stop that he rode all the fucking time. Matter of fact, this for all the years I was stuck riding Metro. Couldn't afford no petrol. Now they swear I'm Celestio. Then I've seen a blow so special from a young hoodlum that reps so hard for Southwest Ailey, Texas. That's where my heart is at. Foreign Park gave me the how to survive. Hold up. Hold up, that 808 is gonna come in like that? Same, I ain't never leave Texas because that's where my heart is at, dog. That third coast, you know what I'm talking about? He said, this is for those times I couldn't afford no petrol. They, now they swear that I'm celestial. Like, like I'm a god in this shit. Like celestial beings. They swear that this pen is miraculous, that this pen is godlike. That's dope. But listen to that beat come in and then, that, and then everything breaks out and it's just the 808 hitting. Ooh. Got me chills. Then I've seen a blow so special from a young hoodlum that rep so hard for Southwest Ailey, Texas. That's where my heart is at. Foreign Park gave me the how to survive a hood starter pack. Drank ah. made half the legends in my city have heart attacks. When I die, and he's from Houston, so he said, Drank made half the legends in my city have heart attacks, dog. 
as no lie, literally DJ Screw had a heart attack and passed away from two, he literally overdosed, like his, like his heart slowed down to a stop because of how much drink he was sipping. I, I think it's the same for, I don't even know him all from Houston, Pimp C, uh, I, know, I know Fat Pat's gone, but I think Fat Pat died in like a shooting, if I'm not mistaken. I, he, was at, he was like 26, 27, 28 in that ballpark. I don't think it was from drink, but still, dog, like a lot of people that sipping on that shit, or that were, have passed away. That shit is dangerous, dog. When I die, bury me like Stonewall Jackson and Arthur Ashe, right outside the governor's mansion on Colorado Street. If you out here pitching and snitching, can folk you not a G. Never been an advocate for the savages moving keys. I just pray that God didn't establish the palace for the G. Ooh. I never been an advocate for the savages out here moving keys and not like piano keys, like kilos of cocaine or kilos of drugs, dog. Tell my heart is not to speak out of anguish. Before rap, I used to talk with my hands. No sign language, my tangled, but was gyrating. He said, before rap, I used to talk with my hands. No sign language, dog, because he was gangbanging. Repping his set with his hands, he was throwing it up. His mind was tainted. And before he even speaks, he makes sure that he's not speaking out of anguish, that he's not speaking out of anger, because you say some shit that you haven't thought all the way through, and that's that's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. This is he's giving you all this game for free 99, dog. I used to talk with my hands, no sign language, mind tainted, but was gyrating, had my eyes straying, time wasted, mostly due to the fact I ain't mind playing. In the devil's playground, swore me and my dogs would give him hell. My partners was on point with that rocket. <laughs> Bro, my partners, my partners gave him hell with that rocket. Did he say hell? Give him hell. My partners was on point with. Oh no! Hey, he said my partners was on point like, with the rocket. Sam Cassell, dog, like on point with the rocket again. Another synonym for gun for pistol. They was on point with that rocket, like Sam Cassell, who is like a legendary point guard for the Houston Rockets. That wordplay is insane, bro. And I ain't mind playing in the devil's playground. That's why me and my dogs would give them hell. That's Sam Cassell. Before Trader Joe, they was making no off organic sales. If you ever hit my website and cop the shirt, that's more than a sale. I swear, for every penny you invested, I'ma show every bum rapper rapping what purpose look like perfected. My cop my mama to ask him for laughing at the vision I projected. And cop fat a two-seater cause she was the only one I was left with. Been blessed with. Cough out a two-seater because she was the only one that I was left with? Is that his girl? Is that his wife? I'm going to cop my mama an Aston for laughing at the vision that I projected. And my and before Trader Joe's, my dogs, my dogs was selling that organic, like that green, that weed, that organic. But Trader Joe's, for those that don't know, I don't know if it's a worldwide like a grocery chain, but Trader Joe's is kind of like a quirkier version of Whole Foods. Like they sell like healthy organic shit. So Trader Joe's, they sell that organic fire. And for every penny that you invested in the merch, in the me, in the whatever, I'm gonna show every single bum rapper. I'm gonna show them what purpose look like perfected. Like I'm not just out here on this mic just spin shit for some quick cash. I got purpose in the flow. I got purpose in my demeanor. This is more than just music. Here for this dog, this is fire. It got fat a two-seater cause she was the only one I was left with Been blessed with That boy J.E. Double Yeah, he moved in silence But he's still down from physical violence He could spiritual guidance A miracle I went 30 years And ain't murk nobody My face been blurred with tears From seeing caskets with Hershey bodies Ain't no kisses, they digging ditches Dog he said, it's, I, I made it 30 years and it's a miracle that I ain't murk nobody. My face blurry from the tears from seeing caskets with Hershey bodies. Like I'm seeing caskets of my brother, seeing casket, caskets from these black men that are dying to the streets. Do you hear just how fucking poetic that is? Who, who has ever said that? There's been plenty of people that said that I'm crying from the tears from my homeboys losing their life in the streets. But whoever called crying from the tears, my, my face blurry from the Hershey bodies in the caskets. Fuck, dog. Just just straight up, it's, it's a miracle I went 30 years without murking nobody, dog. It's a miracle that I never killed anybody from the environment and the hood and the hood that I came from. That I didn't just fall victim to that like everybody else does. That, that honestly is a miracle. Especially if you came from a very rough side of Houston. But that caskets with Hershey bodies line, dog, that shit... Pfft. My face been blurred with tears from seeing caskets with Hershey bodies. Ain't no kisses, they digging ditches. You gon' need barbed wire to guard you cause they'll pull up and scoop you. Like a car ride, a fall wiser than your typical baddest hang up. You gon' need barbed wire cause we gon' to like to guard you cause we gon' pull up and scoop you. Like a car ride, like hey, scoop me over here, scoop me in five, pick me up from my crib. Dog, fire. Pause this shit way too much, but I don't give a fuck, that's what you here for. 
to guard you cause they'll pull up and scoop you Like a car ride or far wiser than your typical baddest Hang Yogi Boo Boo Here's why I'll be covered in cheese like macaroni noodles Lonely pupils listen What up they say far wiser than your typical batter batter Like literally batter but Yogi Yogi Boo Boo Like Yogi Berra was the catcher I think for the New York Yankees Far wiser than your typical baddest Hang Yogi Boo Boo Here's why I'll be I think that's, that's hard to hear what he said but I think that's what he said like a car ride a far wiser than your typical baddest Saint Yogi Boo Boo Here's why I be covered in cheese Like macaroni noodles Lonely pupils listen You'll catch a lesson when teachers fitting Someone send this track to three stacks I need a feature with them Deeply hidden in every ball it's Someone send this track to three stacks To Andre 3000 I need a feature with them And to be honest This is like at the level This is at the level Not the smoothness that Andre 3000 has Because that's not At least that doesn't look to be his personality And what he wants to bring to the table But this is on par with like the level of lyricism but he said I'd be covered in cheese like bread. I'd be covered in money, but cheese like macaroni noodles, like mac and cheese. Send this track to three stacks. I need a feature with them. Deeply hidden in every ball. It's a forewarning. Test me and I'll lean in your grill. Like George Foreman. <laughs> Yo, this shit was fire, dog. He said, catch me and I'll lean in your grill like George Foreman. Like the George Foreman grill, but like catch me, I'll lean in your grill, like your face, like get up in your face. But lean, like when you like when you throw meat on a George Foreman, that was like their that was always their go-to signature thing. Like it made meat really lean because it drained out all the fat. Catch me and I'll lean in your grill like George Foreman. Holy fuck, dog. That shit was tight. How did like I not even sleep. Like, how did I miss this artist altogether? That was a fucking that was a request right there, bro. Definitely gonna be doing more of this dude on the channel hundred percent. Appreciate your membership, like I said at the beginning, and I appreciate you like like finding enough value in me to go ahead and like support the boy monetarily because you think that I have that potential to make your investment worth it. So I really appreciate that. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough and this long form breakdown, this is definitely a breakdown that was longer than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't know he was this type of lyricist. But yes, if, if that's your thing, go ahead and click the subscribe button because that's how we do it every video. If you also wanna be like Jeff and maybe potentially either, either get a request in or you wanna just support long term and like, and like invest over there on the patreon you get exclusive things you get you get content you get question and answers you get you get a lot of shit over there so if you want to support me monetarily in this dream to keep the channel alive because that's the only thing that is and that's the only thing that will continue to keep the channel alive go check out the patreon i would really appreciate it follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below hit up the discord also down in the description below but that's all that i got today ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time and like i always say at the very end go out there in the world love and care for one another Love and care for each other. I catch everybody on the next video. Peace.